Producer Abigail, can you give us a vibe check for this episode? It's not good. Not good. Dude, I barely slept last night because of this Naya Rivera news. This is the saddest thing. Like, what the heck is going on? I don't know if it's a freak accident or a suicide. What are you thinking? It's one of the saddest, most tragic things I think I've ever heard in my life. When I mean, the fact that her four-year-old son is just on this boat waiting to get rescued, they finally find him. He says, I don't know, mom and I were swimming and she never came back. Let's just all be praying for him because no doubt he's gonna be traumatized for life. Life. They've presumed her dead at this point in time while we're filming this currently, and they're on a recovery mission to find the body. We're gonna keep you totally updated as news comes in on the Politics Instagram. For the show today, it looks like all that virtue signaling from Lady Antebellum was a farce. Billie Eilish's mom says that she almost had to send Billie to therapy over this when she was younger, and I have a crazy update on those TikTokers who found a dead body in Seattle. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Politics. Lady Antebellum is such a joke to me now, and I saw this update to their pathetic little story, and I genuinely thought that this was a Babylon Bee story. Is this, is this real? Remember how they peacocked to the world with how progressive they were a few weeks ago by changing their entire branding and identity? They said they were gonna go from Lady Antebellum to Lady A out of respect for their black fans since the word antebellum was a style of house in the Civil War era. Civil War era, there were slaves. It's fine, I'll cancel it. All of this to win a popularity contest with people who probably never listen to their music anyways. And now, a black woman who's been using the name Lady A for years is suing them for $10 million and they're filing a counter lawsuit against her, even though they originally said, oh, all is well and good with this lady. We're praying together about it. It's fine. They stole my name. No, that's mine. If they really were as woke as they claimed, shouldn't they fork over the money and just stop using the name Lady A? Get the fork out of here. Billie Eilish's mom says that when Billie was 12 years old, her obsession with Justin Bieber was so out of control and insane that she almost had to start taking her to therapy over it. Billy's mom said, lock her up. Mental institution, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> New straight jacket. Okay, I feel like we're doing a true crime podcast today with all this true crime stuff, but did you ever see that TikTok where the teens found a dead body in a suitcase on the beach in Seattle? This was only a couple weeks ago. Guys, we found a, a suitcase at the beach. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> wait, open it. <gasps> oh. So she's calling the police so we can see if it's actually a dead body or it's just Food. Uh, here's the crime scene. <laughs> Well, there's been an update. There were actually two bodies found. One was a 35-year-old woman named Jessica, and the other was her 27-year-old boyfriend. The man had a gunshot wound to the torso, and the woman, Jessica, had multiple gunshot wounds. They think that this suspected homicide happened 10 days before that TikTok was filmed. Now, I know that the current admin is considering banning TikTok because it's a massive national security risk with all its ties to the Chinese government, but can we just wait maybe till I can play Nancy Drew? Why does some cool stuff like this ever happen to me? I'm trying to be on the news in an aluminum foil blanket, being the hero. The only thing I've ever found on an adventure was a crusty old bra and a banana peel. And the banana peel was wearing the bra. It was very teeny tiny. What an adventure, gang. Oh. Well, shoot, sorry today's episode was kind of a downer, but that's just how the news kind of went today. On a positive note, Kanye West says that he is pro-life and wants to create a new political party called the Birthday Party. And you know what? I love this for him. And if I was to create a new political party, I'd call it the same thing. Twin brains, him and I. Twins! Subscribe to Politics on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and anywhere else that you get your podcast. Please leave me a five-star review. Don't forget before you go anywhere, double tap this episode. Get it. Give me your theory on Naya Rivera and share this to your stories. We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Gosh, do I look very 2010 today, like boho chic, like old Mary Kate Olsen? I'm really into it. I feel like I totally would have worn this outfit in high school. You know what? We're going for it. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. Please subscribe, thumbs up, share this video, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss the conservatee. And make sure you're following this show at Poplitics on Instagram for even more conservative content. Click below to watch yesterday's episode.